So today we are talking about Uncle from Another World, the anime that debuted roughly five or so weeks ago. Finally getting around and watching episode one. This is my review of this episode. The title of the episode is called I'm Finally Back from the Fantasy World of Ron Bahala After 17 Years. I really enjoyed this opening of the episode of, of the anime here for episode one, guys. Such a fun and very hilarious episode. Um, I haven't read the manga yet. Um, probably gonna read after read some pages after uh, each episode just to see uh, any differences any changes but thoroughly enjoyed this opening guys just because it was just really really funny to see and find out first and foremost that um, that uh, Taka's uncle was was hit by truck coon now that's funny too because truck coon seemingly was getting ready to hit Taka here at the very beginning of the episode but it Drove, it drove by him, sped by him. I, I literally blurted out a, a very loud laugh because I, I was literally thinking, I was like, oh, they go truck coon and then bypass him. Just like, oh, okay. But 30 seconds later, he's like, yeah, this is what this happened 17 years ago. My uncle got hit by a truck coma, blah, blah, blah. But, we, but his uncle oh, has awoken in the hospital. And um, then we dive into, you know, his nephew, you know, Taka trying to speed him up a little bit into what you know the family had been doing or going through including himself since his uncle was uh, in this coma but his uncle was, was talking specific uh verbiage that of course the language that he was using wasn't from you know from japan he was speaking uh the basically the language from uh Rambahala and uh <laughs> You know, he was just like, oh, you, you speak Japanese and this, that, and the third. But we find out here, he's like saying, like telling him, like, yeah, because because Taka was trying to tell him, like, yo, like, you know, me and the family, this, that, that we hard times. And, you know, I I think I, I want to say he was probably asking him on the lines of what to do next with, with his uncle or anything. Like, like, he was just trying to just go get right to the, to the, uh, the meat of the conversation. You know, but his uncle was trying to use, uh, magic in the room but he was he was trying to do the spell in the the grandma uh, uh language like like casting it but then he just decided to actually he he decided to say it in J japanese and it worked and just like it was just hilarious like it was just just that whole that first like what five or so minutes in this anime in this first episode it was just really really just fun it was hilarious but also too i really love that he brought up sega because sega is one of my favorite childhood uh video games consoles from back way back when right um you know i grew up in the sega era and to for him to hype up sega and was wondering about sega and um you know his you know talk was just like he was trying to get back to the main conversation but then you know he tells him like well sega kind of just you know stopped making games and stuff and he was just upset but then we found out that he, he saying the spell to to forget but it's weird like he was saying like he was he was saying the spell that erases specific memories that are hurtful i guess but he wrote them down though it's like he said the spell and then he wrote it down it's like well, i thought you said that you would forget stuff you know after you you know that, that, that was just what I'm thinking. Like, I thought you were supposed to write it down first and then say the spell so that you would forget. But, uh, you know, with that, he gave, he gave Taka the notebook to say, you know, well, his, his uh, yeah, his, his notebook to say, like, this is what something crucial happened. And he, he read, Taka read it. He was like, oh my goodness. And he was just really just like, it was just hilarious. He told him to spell on me. He did. Uh, but it was just really, really fun just to see that, you know, Taka was getting up to speed with, you know, how. Japan is working, technology, phones, you know, all of this. But with that, Taka said that he used his uncle to use his magic powers to create a YouTube channel and gain some money that way. I think he, I think he gained like 60,000 60, yen in total. But then we see that his uncle was actually able to, uh, that he, he went online to get a phone and he wanted a flip phone, basically. That's what he wanted. And he's like, well, you can get this phone over here because it's touchscreen. He's like, no, I want this phone. It's old school. Again, reminded me of Sega and stuff. Like he, he just wants to stick with stuff that he's used to using because this is the world that he came from, you know, 17 years prior, right? Uh, but with that, 
then you know we find out that his uncle can fly so he flew to where the, the cell phone was instead of him paying i think it was like 2,000 yen to for shipping uh he goes and flies and gets it then when he gets back he was like well hold on uncle you know what uh, what about these headphones you know, we could do he was like i could go get these in a flash in about five minutes does that but then he's like well wait you know shipping and handling we can get it for free and then that's when he went on amazon and ordered some other stuff and then we find out that his uncle has this like pocket storage dimension that he gets from uh whichever i guess his hand or his chest he pulled out this knife he pulled out this sword it was really cool for him to see him do that uh but but then we get to some interesting stuff in the episode when it's pertaining to his uncle and the the you know the ram hollow world itself found out that the place that he came from didn't like him so much found out the place that he came from was trying to take him out hang him and all of that stuff a specific woman that he met she didn't really necessarily like him uh they 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 called him like a like a orc or something like that uh because he was because he was from a different dimension he dressed differently than them so they they automatically uh was basically like chastising him and wanted wanted to get rid of him but the girl specific girl she saves his life but he he runs away and she calls him a car but they eventually meet up again uh that that whole situation is just hilarious in this thing then they use the the touch screen to be able to show how everything was going on he was running away and he spins the camera around and, and uh expands the image to be able to get back to where the girl was with the with the village people trying to hang him so it was just really really funny and i really really just enjoyed that about this episode but then we see that he tried to sell he tried to sell some of the some of the specific antique items that he had in his possession that he would only get for, for like 50 yen at a pawn shop but over in the other world he was able to actually buy like sell these items for pounds of money basically and he basically kind of what he what did he do he proposed to the girl and then he takes her to the pawn shop over there in the other world sells the item he gives her the money but then she says she puts it in the bank and she's like she's on him it seemed like she was basically treating him like he, he was her husband still in the midst of him selling the ring just really guys just really really such a fun and hilarious first episode of this anime i really enjoyed this one so i'm curious again you know taka's still using the youtube stuff because because his uncle brought it up talking about we didn't get as many views and stuff like that but we're seeing that he's able to use this these magical powers in this other world and it's just really interesting just this first episode just first opening him talking about sega when he was younger um it was just 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 such a fun really really fun really nostalgic episode for me specifically um just because this is also too tying into um some stuff from way back when when i was growing up as a kid um so i really enjoyed episode one for today guys i'm getting ready to go watch episode two to see what happens next leave some comments comment section below what did you all think episode one for today let's talk about some things guys what were your initial reaction responses let me know your thoughts but as always with that i will hopefully talk to you all next time with more uncle from another world anime re review videos to come soon peace guys